Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the mini series where we are working on a Christmas journal and I am using my botanical Christmas digital kit that you guys can find in the uh, in the in my Etsy shop and thank you so much for all the kind words about the kit and for all your support and thank you to everyone who already bought the kit I am so thankful and I'm also so happy you guys like it um, yeah so um, so I'm making a Christmas journal for myself. Like I said in the previous part of this tutorial, I, I don't usually make Christmas themed journals for myself. But this year, because everything is just so different, I felt like I wanted to make one and I wanted it to be one that would last me probably, you know, more than one season. So this is what I came up with. And I told you guys I would, um, we would make the cover together. But I yesterday when I was, you know, ready to film it, I was just so... I was so all over the place. I felt so ang anxious all day and this cover is totally like out of my comfort zone. It's it's not what I usually do. And I was so anxious and I just was procrastinating and, and doing everything, you know, else <laughs> rather than filming. And I just thought, well, I will do this off camera because it's no point in me sharing something with you when I'm feeling so anxious. Uh, and if you guys would like me to make a tutorial about how I made this cover, I will be very happy to do it because now that I've made one, uh, I'm, I know what, what I'm doing uh, in a way because this is kind of out of my, my usual style and out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try it. So. What it is, is a material, um, as you can see here, uh, it's this brown material which is called wash paper and I will, uh, I will try to link it below. I'm not sure if this is available um, internationally, but, um, but this is, I think, um, like what you can find, especially on Amazon, is Craftex. I think it's f similar because what's, what, what this material is, it's paper, but with some qualities of fabric. So it's very sturdy, it doesn't tear. Um, you can stitch on it, it's very like durable, and it's also like very nice. I, I love to just squish it like this. It's, it's very nice in your hands. So I use this as my base. This is an A5 size journal. Um, and I printed the kit is in eight and a half by, by 11, uh, but I print on A4 paper. So it just fit perfectly into the cover. It has three signatures. And what I did on the outside is I just collaged all the different pieces of fabrics. And I know it does not look traditionally Christmas or it does even have an autumn vibe I guess but it does have red and green and gold so this is, these are colors that I associate with Christmas so it will do I think and I just layered, I have some vintage sari fabrics that I get on Etsy. I have beautiful vintage laces that I got from my friend um, Neri. I have some trims here. I layered it all up and I just stitched around with zigzag stitch. And yeah, so this is what it turned out. It's I really like it. It's really different. It's amazingly tactile. I just... I, I could touch it all the time. <laughs> I added metal corners to protect the corners because I want it to last me um, for some time. I have an eyelet um, here on the spine and I think I'm out of focus. Well, there is an eyelet on the spine and I can add some ribbons or charms and beads, something like that to look pretty on my uh, shelf. I have sari silk closure. And inside, I don't know, I just left it like this. So I have all those like stitched lines, very random. And on the back of the journal as well. Uh, I really like it. It's, it looks kind of grungy and yeah, just nice. Uh, it also is a nice color. And I added this amazing white piece of lace again from my friend Neri. Uh, and uh, I just stitched it like a long pocket so it goes all the way like 
front and back and yeah and the inside you guys saw we um we made and decorate the signatures in in the first part which will of course be linked in the description for you um, but you can go back in my videos uh, as well and so we have a lot of botanicals this is what my my christmas kit uh, this year is all about uh, we have beautiful botanical book pages and uh, some some just random bits and pieces we have this gorgeous paper from tracy fox so yeah so i have three signatures here i love the like the you know what's going on here on the edges um here is a fold out page from from the kit and today what i oh i love this one what i want uh what i would like us to do today is i want to make some ephemera uh so we will be using add-on kit and maybe some backgrounds from the main kit because i also really like how the backgrounds turned out um they are very rich and like i said in the introduction where i sh shared this kit with you i wanted them to be a little bit festive uh so there is glitter and and stuff like that i wanted this christmas even though it's going to be different to still i wanted us to to be able to enjoy it in our journals you know the beautiful colors and, and textures so yes uh we will be making some ephemera i would like to have some ephemera for myself to kind of make my journaling a little bit faster december is usually a very uh a very uh, busy month for me and having some ready-made pieces to just jot down some notes or add a photo or something like this will uh, will just make my uh, journaling that much faster and I also really want to to play with uh, with the items that that we have in uh, in the add-on kit okay so yeah i really love it i i really can't wait to start journaling and it's just so different for me i've never made myself a soft cover journal but i love the feel of it and i feel like it can chunk a bit you know i'm still going to be able to to uh I guess write in it comfortably because it's just so squishy and nice <laughs> okay so what I would like us to work with it today or to start maybe we we can make uh, more projects today we will see is this um is this a seat pocket so this is from my add-on kit and the way it works is you have the inking which kind of guides you where to cut and fold and what it was designed to be like is you have the pocket here you close it like this so you have beautiful flowers on the front and on the back where you open you have a gorgeous flower um, like a cluster here and there is a pocket but as you guys know i really like making like digital ephemera my own or making something from it uh, that was not meant to be done with it so what i thought i would do is i'm actually going to cut off all these all these fold outs so let me just quickly do it with my huge scissors and the project that we are going to be making i've seen uh, it's not my original idea i've seen it on pinterest a few times and on and on youtube i think a few times um but i really like it and it's it's going to be a nice space to keep like additional pictures that i don't journal with or some ephemera um that i have and i don't i didn't use okay so so i think i'm going to cut it because this side is slightly larger so you can overlap the flap here without worrying that your pocket will not close but now i don't need them to be i actually prefer them to be the same size and i'm not worrying about the inking here because we can either decorate it or i will just use some inks to ink it up myself okay so we have this and i also have some paper bags uh these are just 
regular paper bags. I think they are 10 by, uh, not 10, um, 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters or four by six inches. And um, what I want to do with them is I want to make like an accordion thing inside of this. So maybe let me just show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the flaps because I don't need them. And I have this nicely colored, but uh, you can as well do this with craft uh, pockets or with or with uh, is this open? Yep. Or with white. Really anything. I just thought since I have these colored ones and these are not the colors uh, I usually use, I would use it for Christmas because it's like almost red <laughs> and green. So it should be good. So I'm just cutting the flaps on this side and cutting just a tiny bit on this side to open up my pockets on both sides. Maybe a little bit more here. Yeah. Now I'm going to be... Well, I haven't done this before, which is what you guys hear a lot on my channel, but we'll figure it out together. So now I'm going to fold all of them in half. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And this is how I'm going to have them. The green one will be in the middle. So what I want to do now, well, let me see if it fits in the in the cover. This is going to be a sort of a cover. Yeah, it fits. So I'm going to be gluing all of this, all of these like together. So this will be glued. Oh, come on. This will be glued like this. And then this will be glued with this. So we will have, uh, I'm not sure I'm explaining this okay, but I uh, hope you get the idea. So we will have all of these pockets and I also think I want to maybe do something here. So let me check if I have something. This is the add-on kit, something that I could add here, maybe some background actually. So, love this one. I think this, yeah, this is the one that comes with the add-on. This is, I think, totally one of my favorites. Yeah, maybe let's, let's go with this. So I'm just going to glue my, my cover. To the, add, uh, to the background page and just cut around it so that I get a nice pattern on the background. And of course we won't see all of it because as you will see, I will, I will stick the, the first uh, paper bag to it, but that's fine. It's just, it's a, as I always say, it's one of the things that I love most about digitals is that you can like print them if any number of times that you want or need if you make a project with them and for example you don't like it or you make some mistake uh, in your eyes you know or you um or you just love it so much and you want to make more then you can always always make more this is awesome okay like that i'm going to to fold it and i think i'm going to ink the edges now so let me just grab a few things here guys um, so my desk, my other desk, is a little bit of a mess. So what do I want? I want my bone folder and I want my 
my inks and I hope I have my espresso ground espresso it is I think yes it is it's here because this should be the perfect color to match the inking on this kit and I'm just going to use to use my doba dober thing thingy <laughs> and to to add my inking mm -hmm. And I'm also going to ink the insides as well. So I really want to have some already made um, pockets, you know, where I can just add the pieces from my, from my Christmas, from my December without spending too much time um, on on creating something fun so with my with usually with my journals I um, I prefer them to be blank like a blank canvas for me to work on but with this one I just want some some things already made yeah I really like it okay and maybe the crease here as well just a little bit mm -hmm. okay I love how the borders are just popping because of the ink that we use <laughs> so now I'm thinking I'm going to um, to start gluing my pages <laughs> And what I'm going to use with this, I think, is um, double-sided tape. So let me grab some. Yeah, I have so much double-sided tape. And of course, when I need some, I can't find it. Um, I have this one. Okay, it may, it may work. So what I think I want to do is have a strip of double-sided tape sort of through the through the middle of of each of the envelopes so let me not envelopes but paper bags let me just start with with this and do I want to cut it or do I want to tear it maybe cut it it will be cleaner <coughs> So I'm going to to go like this. Oops, can't see something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cut it here. Okay, not. Not even at all, but that's fine. So this, these two are going to be glued together. Now we are going to be gluing these two together. So I think I'm actually going to, to turn my tape. It will be quicker. In my own journals, I am uh, very, uh, like, very much okay with I'm just trying to see, do I want to get rid of this piece or not? Maybe I do, actually. It's going to, to drive me crazy a little bit and I'm not going to see this tear, I guess. We will see. And so, yes, so I, as I was saying in my own journals, I'm just very much okay with having things not even not perfect. The whole cover of this of this journal of this Christmas journal is far from perfect. But that's the style I like. I think this is why we call these junk journals because I've seen I post uh, on one of the Facebook groups that uh, I'm in. And, and the lady was asking, like, why do we call them junk journals? They are 
so beautiful, you know, so artistic. They they shouldn't be uh, called junk journals. And in a way it's true, but then this one lady replied and I totally agree with her. And she said, I call mine junk journals because it gives me freedom to be messy, to have things that are uneven, that are imperfect and I don't have to worry about it because no matter how beautiful the journal may be, it's a junk journal so you know I have the freedom to not be perfect in it and I just loved it so much and yeah this is just, this is what I feel too. Like because this is a junk journal and not, <clears throat> not I don't know anything else, it gives us the freedom to to just do, do what we want. We can use actual junk in our junk journals, and it will be junk journaling. We can make them beautiful, and it will be still junk journaling. Uh, we can make them. Oh, this is nice. We can make them whatever we want, really. Just let me check if I need this <clears throat> this one more or am I content with how it is now because we have four and with this we would have just hmm I don't want it to get too bulky either uh, and now of course we can see the tears I should have predicted it but that's okay we can we can fix it. Um, do I want more pockets or is it okay? No, I think it's okay actually. <clears throat> so I'm going to save this one for something else. And the sort of the last part here is to glue the, the front and the back to the covers. I'm going to just add just a little bit more here. <clears throat> Oops, did not turn correctly. Come on, tape. I just want to make sure my tape is going to the edge here. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Now, do I want it like this or the green? Hmm, maybe the green. So now I want to place it kind of in the middle. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to close my cover for this. Just like that and let it stick on its own. I can help a little bit with my bone folder. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so fun. Oops. <laughs> of course I did not. Oh, Martina. It would seem that I'm still a little bit all over the place. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. Okay. Now, this is not the end of this project though. So, first of all, I don't like these tears here. Can I do something about it? Let me check my washi tapes. So I have some of my washi tapes here. And what could I use? Do I have something that looks Christmas? Like I said to you guys, I'm not really a Christmas journaler. Oh, this one looks Christmas. So I don't have uh, that many supplies that would be Christmas themed. Um, so I just have to work with with what I've got, you know. So I think I'm just going to add some washi tape strips here and there. Kind of cover those tears. And even add a little bit of decoration. And I'm using glue with my with my washi because um, it's not very sticky. Or even if it is, it kind of tends to lose its stickiness over time so whenever I use washi tape I just it 
it's just always um, un, like peels off with time and I don't want it mm -hmm. <laughs> this is cute I think we could maybe use a little bit more so so that it does not um, look I want it to look a little, bit, a little bit more random that's what I'm trying to say not as it is you know just covering these spots here which is which it of course is but if we add it in some more places we will just add some more decoration I guess so let me do one more here <laughs> so cute and then two more to cover the tears in the in the other pocket and by the way uh, by the way guys thank you so much for all the kind and positive and encouraging comments under the the last video that I made where I showed you the kit and I did like this first, for me first, uh, introduction, face-to-face -face introduction. I was like, I wanted, I wanted to do it for some time, but it's scary. And gosh, guys, if you could see my setup for this, I, I could not find my my tripod <laughs> so I didn't have a tripod my camera was standing on my chair and on a like a stack of books <laughs> and then I was sitting on the floor <laughs> because um, I couldn't get my camera any higher for me to actually sit on a chair and of course my chair was taken by the camera so yes uh, there's that <laughs> but yeah you know it's fine it's all good okay i like it now we can put away washies for now and now i also want to add some closure so what could we do i was thinking i was thinking of adding adding some string maybe i have some scraps of this <clears throat> this is the wash papa the one that i used for my cover and i'm i'm curious to see if i can punch it i've never tried it if i can punch a circle out of this or maybe it's just too oh i can okay it worked really nice so what i'm going to do is um i am going to add a um, a brad a metal brad through through the circle here on the front <clears throat> and it will show here but again i don't mind it at all i think all items like this just, just add interest so let me take this and maybe a star would be nice maybe a star like it kind of you know matches those flowers here <clears throat> and i have these are i think uh, metal brads from prima marketing i think they have these these stars so i would like this one to be somewhere here <clears throat> and i'm going to do what wendy does and Wendy takes another eyelet and I'm going to take one that I'm probably not going to use like this one and she closes it she closes it like you would an eyelet only without oh come on without paper in it just like that and then this flattened eyelet kind of lifts your circle up so you can um, attach and not attach you can um, 
what am I trying to say? Uh, wrap your string around it more easily. So let me... Uh, do I want it in the middle? Yeah, it would be nice to have it in the middle. So I'm going to mark, mark my middle here. And this is 14 and a half centimeters. Sorry, too low. <laughs> and <clears throat> so my middle will be somewhere here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take my awl and just make a hole through here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want it more down here. Just making a hole. So making sure I don't uh, make a hole through all of the other um, bags. And also I will make a hole sort of in the middle here. And now I'm going to <clears throat> take my circle, take my flattened eyelet and take my metal brad and put them put them through through the hole here mm -hmm. yeah and then flatten I'm not sure if you can see but flatten those arms on the other side so that it uh, holds and I can turn this um brad a little bit to make it more kind of in the in the middle i guess i don't want to turn it like too much because i don't want to tear my papers ah oh, i think that's fine it's it's okay this way so this is what we have so far and on the other side again i'm going to measure my middle my middle mm, somewhere here i'm guessing <clears throat> and then i'm going to punch a little hole here just make sure not to punch through anything else <laughs> oh, come on come on mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, something, something got stuck here. Mm -hmm, that's fine. And now, okay, it was a piece of this paper bag that got stuck, but it's fine. Now I'm going to take an eyelet and add it through here. just close it with my crocodile not okay not cooperating with me today too well okay so there's that <clears throat> and now um, what would I want I think just a jute string would be nice so let me just grab some and I'll be back in just a sec. Oh, and I just think, do I want, do I prefer this or do I prefer this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe this one. I love the both of them, but <laughs> I have to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have quite a lo long um, piece of it and also fold it in half then I'm going to thread it through my eyelet here mm -hmm. and well like that your closure is pretty much done you can wrap it around here and um, 
and you have it but what I want to do you know what guys I think I'm going to thread it from the other side so I usually go from the outside but this time I think the way I want to wrap it it will be better if I go inside here like this and then yeah and then you can see it just it's it's just uh, lying here better so I can now just wrap it around here like this and well here's your closure of course you could leave it like this but what I want to do is I want to take these strings and maybe add a charm on the um, on the ends of, of those but I don't have <laughs> I don't think I have anything Christmas themed, or maybe, maybe here. These are all too, too um, heavy. I don't want it to be heavy and very bulky. I have, oh, I have these cute pine cones, and I don't know why, but I feel like a pine cone would work nice here so I'm going to maybe just cut it evenly I'm now going to thread the, uh, the string I hope I can do this both of them at the same time through my um, charm Or what would be easier is I'm just going to to go with one here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to tie a little knot on the end here. Because my string is kind of thick. Um, I would just probably spend half an hour trying to to do this the way I wanted to do it, but this way works just fine too, and that's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it just adds, <laughs> I love it, it just adds a little decoration on the, oh sorry, too high, <laughs> on, the, uh, on, on the end of this. So this is our closure. We can now close this um this this pocket and maybe we could also do some decoration here on the front so i do have some lovely quotes christmas quotes in the add-on kit um here, here they are so maybe a quote would be nice and I have them like two colors, um, so these are more green and these are more like yellow and red and brown. And um, maybe the green one. So Christmas isn't a season, it's a feeling. It's, it's so pretty and it's so accurate, I think. So let me just take, take this. Sideways would be would actually be nice, I think. Okay, mm, and maybe we should have some music paper. Just a <clears throat> just a piece of of this vintage music paper to kind of make it stand out from the from the background a little bit more maybe that's even too much ok 
okay i like it let me use the same ink as we did inside to to add some uh, interest to those torn edges and to make them pop <clears throat> and yeah i think it's going to to be just fine here just let me see if it's not going to interfere with my closure or if my closure isn't going to cover the whole thing <laughs> i can wrap it like this no it's fine it's still it's still readable like this okay mm -hmm. so i'm just going to to glue it with my glue stick because my wet glue tends to terribly sip through this uh this vintage music paper and it leaves those awful like wet splotches that um even when the glue dries they don't go away so i don't like to use wet glue with with this paper and the glue stick should should work just fine i think mm -hmm. oh sorry guys if you can hear the alarm <laughs> outside my windows or actually a couple of alarms not sure what's going on on there mm -hmm. okay and maybe just to zhuzh it up <laughs> as wendy says a little bit maybe we'll just add this gold leaf trim somewhere where could we where could we add it maybe some maybe a little bit here or top and bottom maybe or just a piece here Let me try it like this and maybe a piece down there mm. okay let me glue this one first and for this i am going to actually use my wet glue because it works with fabric uh, okay and i get i often get questions about this glue and i often talk about it but this is glue which is called magic and it's advertised for um, bookmaking and it's i think it's a polish brand i i haven't seen it on amazon or anything like this it's like the most popular glue here in poland really um like a craft glue so so it's everywhere pretty much but i do believe this is this is a polish product mm -hmm. i like it i like it and what maybe a little bit here yeah why not and we can have this like a negative space where your eyes can kind of rest you know um, so not everything is so busy in the background here okay and like this also this little ephemera holder thing <laughs> that we just made i think it would also be a nice like a pen pal gift or a christmas gift where you can just add some cute handwritten notes inside and maybe uh, some ephemera pieces maybe some stickers and postage stamps something like this just really like uh, little little ephemera holders like this okay how are we going with time mm, let me see let's close this okay so guys, I think that would be it for this tutorial, but stay tuned, we will definitely be making more ephemera to go into our Christmas journals. I hope you enjoyed this project. What did I just do? 
Oh my goodness, guys, I am... Um, why don't I think today? Where is my brain? Of course, I can't close it like this. I don't know what I was thinking. I can only go like this, which won't work. <laughs> you guys were probably screaming at me, just seeing what I was doing and not being able to communicate with me. Uh, my mistake, but now it's closed. It's all good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this project, even though it was a little bit all over the place. Um, but I certainly do. I love how it turned out. I think it's so fun. I can't wait to add my uh, Christmas uh, ephemera from like real life and maybe some photos inside of this little little thingy and of course add this to my journal i will probably um oh i can actually keep it here yeah that's nice and it it can go all the way down but i like how it's just sticking out here so oh yeah i love it <laughs> oops sorry guys oh my goodness i just knocked the tripod okay guys before i do anything else i'm just going to say goodbye thank you so much for watching for your time and for your support and yeah we will see you very soon in the next one bye